Hello students, this is 1.24. Our radius vector of a point A related to origin varies with time as r equal to ati minus bt square j. We have to calculate equation of points trajectory and plot this function. Time dependence of velocity and acceleration vector as well as the modulus of these quantities. Time dependence of angle alpha between velocity and acceleration vector. And mean velocity vector averaged over the first t second of motion and its modulus. So the way to solve this uh, here, it is given that the value of r vector is ati minus btj, r vector is ati minus bt square j. So if we, we compare this with the standard equation of position vector xi plus yj in two dimension, since the problem contains i and j only, it means the problem is in two dimension. So compare it to the standard equation xi plus yj, you will get x equal to at and y equal to minus bt square. These are the values of x and y. <coughs> so if you take t as x, y from first equation and put this in the second, you will get y equal to minus b into x, y a whole square. So finally this implies that x square is equal to a square y upon b with a negative sign. So equation of this uh, trajectory, equation of points trajectory is x square equal to minus a square y upon b. Uh, and this uh, we see here that it contains two power in x and one power in y. So this is the equation of a parabola. It means uh, this plot uh, will be a parabola like uh, this. It is x square equal to minus 4 y. So the plot will be like this. So this is our plot for this. This is a parabola, a down phased parabola. And this is the equation of trajectory. x square is minus a square by b, y to the power 1. Now, uh, second question, time dependence of velocity and acceleration vector as well as modulus of these quantities. So we know that in the previous section, mein mathematical tools have clarified that if we differentiate r vector, ko differentiate kare, then dr by dt is known as velocity vector and its again differentiation gives us acceleration vector. So on differentiating r, you will get dr vector by dt as ai minus 2btj. Here differentiation of t is taken as 1 and that of t square is 2t and all these are due to formula. So velocity vector equal to ai minus 2btj. And if you differentiate this again, you will get dv vector by dt equal to 0 minus 2b and j. Here this part, first part is free from t, so its differentiation would be 0. dv by dt is known as acceleration vector, so acceleration vector is minus 2b into j vector. So time dependence of velocity and acceleration vector are these two. This is the expression of velocity in terms of time and that is acceleration in terms of time. Since acceleration is free from time, it means this is an example of uniformly accelerated motion. This is a uniformly accelerated motion. And uh, the other question is always modulus of these quantities. Modulus of these quantities means V mod. V mod equal to A square plus 4B square T square. Under root, this is a modulus of V. Velocity modulus is A square plus 4B square T square under root and acceleration mod equal to 2b. Mag modulus means only magnitude of this. So minus j represents the direction of acceleration and 2b is the modulus of a. So this is the second part. Third part is time dependence of angle alpha between velocity and acceleration vector. We have the value of velocity and acceleration. So by the uh, definition of dot product, we know that v dot a will be equal to mod of v mod of a and cos of angle between these two. Alpha is taken as the angle between velocity and acceleration vector. So cos alpha is equal to v dot a divided by modulus of v and modulus of a. Now we have section mein clarify kar chuke ki how we have to make uh, the dot product, uh, how we can make dot product. v dot a is equal to uh, the dot product of i with j and that of j with j it is like this it is cos alpha equal to v v is a i minus 2 b t j dot acceleration vector is minus 2 b j 
divided by mod of these two and the modulus of these two are root of a square plus 4b square t square and 2b is the modulus of acceleration. So cos alpha is this dot this by this or on solving this you will get the dot of j and j is 1 so it is 2p t into 2b minus minus is plus and j dot j is 1 i dot j is 0 so we remove this one uh, so it will be 2b under root a square plus 4b square t square finally if you cancel 2 beta 2b you will get cos alpha is 2b t divided by under root a square plus 4b square t square this is the dependence of angle time dependence of angle alpha between these two if this is the expression for the relation between alpha and time the last part is the mean velocity vector averaged over the first t second of motion and modulus of this vector and uh, we know that mean velocity is uh, equal to the total displacement covered by the particle divided by total time taken and we know that in time t the position of particle is this and consider that the particle starts from origin because if you take t0 you will get r as 0i plus 0j it means particle starts from origin and covers this much displacement in t time so average velocity mean velocity mean velocity vector mean velocity vector equal to total displacement it is a t i minus b t square j divided by total time t t once again if you take t 0 you will get r as 0 i plus 0 j it means particle was at origin at a start and it travels this much displacement in t time so mean velocity averaged over t second is this by this on solving this you will get a i minus b t j so this is mean velocity vector averaged over t time and a modulus of this vector by taking mod you will get it as a modulus of this is equal to mod of v average equal to a square plus b square t square under root so this is uh, the numerical value of uh, mean velocity averaged over first c t second so these are the answers of these four part again एक बार फिर मैं रिपीट कर दूं पूरा क्वेश्चन कि आर वेक्टर ए टी आई माइनस बी टी स्क्वायर जे फॉर्मेट में दिया गया है आपसे ट्रेजेक्ट्री की इक्वेशन पूछी है एंड वी नो दैट इफ यू कंपेयर दिस विद द स्टैंडर्ड टू डी इक्वेशन ऑफ आर यू विल गेट द वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई ऑन टेकिंग टी फ्रॉम फर्स्ट एंड पुट इन द सेकेंड यू विल गेट वाई इक्वल टू माइनस बी एक्स बाई ए होल स्क्वायर एंड फाइनली इट विल बी एक्स स्क्वायर इक्वल टू माइनस ए स्क्वायर बाई बी वाई वन पावर 2 power 1 power connectivity means this is the equation of a parabola and this is the plot for that. The second part is the expression for velocity and acceleration. So by differentiating this equation you will get v vector and a vector respectively and their moduluses are these two respectively. The third part is time dependence of angle between velocity and acceleration. So v dot a is v mod a mod cos alpha. The definition dot product section explain ki ja chuki ki how we have to solve dot products so cos alpha is v dot a by v mod a mod cos alpha is this dot this by this and on solving this you will get cos alpha is this and finally the mean velocity vector averaged over t second so mean velocity vector is known as total displacement in t second divided by total time taken and this is the average and its modulus is that so these are the answers of uh, four parts of this problem